Hi, I'm Chris Gilmore, and this is a short video describing the problems I encountered this far into my attempt to hack a self-balancing hoverboard as my Mechatronics Unleashed project. The first stage of hacking the hoverboard was disassembling the main hoverboard and identifying each component. This stage went relatively smoothly, although as I'd bought my hoverboard second hand, I found a few strips of screws, one of which was attached to the main logic board. I chose to leave the logic board attached to the hoverboard for this reason. Inside the hoverboard are five basic components. Two wheel hubs, each of which contain a 350 watt three-phase electric motor and a triple redundant hall sensor. Two sensor boards, one for each wheel containing a gyroscope and a pad sensor. A main logic board which takes inputs from the gyro, hall sensor and pad sensor and outputs the three-phase power. And then there's the battery and the frame. I was able to easily take a signal from the hall sensors, which acted identically to the hall sensors made for Arduinos. I wrote a quick piece of code in C++ with the intention of transferring that onto my main C code when and if I needed the ability to read the speed of the wheel. However, the motors using three-phase power instantly limited my ability to control the wheel speed, and instead of being able to directly control them from the Arduino board using PWM or something similar, I instead had to send signals to the main logic board and allowed that to send signals to the three-phase. There were three wires leading directly from the gyroscope to the main board, uh, 12 volt, T, R, and G. The G was the, obviously the ground wire, therefore the T and the R were the transmit and receive lines in an asynchronous serial UART protocol. This led to another unfortunately unsurmountable issue with the limitations of the assessment framework as the Arduino Uno we were meant to use only has a single transmit and a single receive line for the UART protocol. So to successfully communicate with the main logic board I needed to determine the board rate and the parity and the number of stop bits. I hooked the board up to an oscilloscope and I could see the bits being sent. I measured a gap of 38 microseconds between each bit which gives approximately a board rate of about 26,315. This corresponded to an online blog that I found of a similar hack where the author found the same and through using a logic analyzer they found the board uses 9 data bits, 1 stop bit and no parity bits. I wrote a simple Arduino program in C using these numbers uh, with the idea of turning on a blue LED when it receives a signal um, through the UART receive complete interrupt. Unfortunately, however, no matter what I did from this point on, the Arduino couldn't pick up the signal from the hoverboard and so would never trigger the interrupt. I tried using multiples of the board rate, more common board rates. I tried changing the number of stop bits, including the parity, but uh, none of these worked. By writing a piece of code which loops back a simulation of the data I was expecting based off the blog post, I was able to trigger an interrupt, and so the receive line on the Arduino wasn't faulty. So my conclusion, therefore, was that there was either a mistake somewhere in my calculations, although I did check on them many times, or there was too much noise in the signal for the Arduino to accurately pick it up. Um, one unlikely possibility is that the 3.3 volt signal wasn't actually strong enough to trigger the Arduino, but uh, there's well-documented cases that 3.3 should be more than enough to trigger it, so I find this unlikely. In the future, when I revisit this project, I will probably switch to using an Arduino Mega, which allows for many more hardware serial ports, so I can monitor on my computer the results I get from the board, and also take inputs from both gyroscopes and output to both wheels. This project so far has been challenging, but fun, and I look forward to continuing and hopefully completing it in the future.